Hey there, it's Sharon, your guitar guide, helping you find your sound. And today I've got this Eric Clapton acoustic blues style song, and that's coming up. Thanks for coming to the channel today for this acoustic blues song and if you're new to the channel have a look around if you like what you see go ahead and subscribe for more guitar tips and if you're already a subscriber thanks for supporting the channel so let's get to it and learn this Eric Clapton acoustic blues style song and first let me show you the chords and they are A minor 7 like the C shape with your third finger off. C. E7. A minor. With the G in the bass. An F. And I play the F like this. But however you want to learn how to play the F, if you need help with it, check out this. Five different ways to play the F chord that should help you out. But if you cover the first and second string on the first fret with your first finger on the second fret, cover the third string on the second fret, and then your third fret fourth string that's an F and you're only going to play from the fourth string down then we've got a G and then we've got an A and then an A7 is just lifting your middle finger off of there and then a D either pick or strum the chord so it starts out So that would be, I'm going to call the frets on the 5th string, 2nd fret, 5th string, 3rd fret, open D string, 4th string, 2nd fret of the D string, and then pick the 3rd string, open, and your first finger, first fret of the second string. The next chord is an E7, which is your first finger on that second fret of the fifth string, and your first finger on the third string, first fret. And I'm picking, I'm arpeggiating these chords. But you could start out just strumming. C, E7, A minor. Put the G in the bass. If that's tricky for you, you 
you could just stay on the A minor. A minor, G in the bass, F, G. So that's the first chord progression we're doing. C, E7, A minor, G in the bass, F, G. And the second chord progression is going to be F, C, G. And what you want to do is stop the chord because you don't want it to ring out. It's fast. It's a fast uh, transition. So the second time it goes through that progression, then it goes to the next chord progression, which is A, A7, D, B, e, A, A7, D, B, e, A. to that chord progression and the strumming pattern for this is So to get back to the verse, it's F, C, G, and to mute the strings, you're going to use this part of your hand. So hey, if you need help with chords and chord transitioning, switching between the chords, or learning the notes on the fretboard, and how to play major and minor bar chords, then I've got the course for you. So check it out over at yourguitarguide.com. There's a link for that in the description area of this video. Below the video. Thanks and stay tuned to watch this video here, and don't forget to comment, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Thanks.